Hi guys, Salone here. During this live segment, I'm going to share four steps to help you learn and retain over 350 medical terminologies in less than 10 days. By the end of this video, you will, one, let's go to our first slide, understand the basics of what makes up medical terms so you can understand them and learn new terms in the future, two, how to dissect a medical term for its meaning, three, how to read medical terminologies effectively, four, how to ace your medical terminology exam, and number five, which is really a bonus, have the confidence and the knowledge to help you excel in PT school. Now guys, you can find links to a free download of commonly used abbreviations in PT, as well as a link to the free online medical terminology course I use to um, learn and retain over 350 medical terms and ace my medical terminology exam with a 100% the first time around. All of that is in the description area, so check that out. And hey, please go ahead and let me know what university you're planning to attend or what university you are attending in the description area below. I would love to know what uh, DPT program or PT program you are uh, looking to uh, be a part of, all right? But here's the truth, guys. All physical therapy students are expected to have a basic knowledge and understanding of medical terminologies and abbreviations. But if you're like me, my undergrad degree was not in a healthcare related uh, field at all. And a medical terminology course was not a prerequisite for the uh, acceptance within the DPT program I applied to. So when my program required incoming DPT uh, class to take a medical terminology quiz as part of our pre-orientation, I was taken aback, mainly because I wasn't prepared to take a medical terminology quiz, which I was responsible for knowing over 350 terms plus commonly used abbreviations within PT. The great news is that my program shared this awesome, comprehensive online medical terminology course through Des Moines University. It saved my life, okay? In addition, they provided some other um, great tools uh, and resources, which I'll share with you guys throughout this uh, segment, but they're also in the description area, so check that out. And when we visit DMU's website, what you will quickly realize is that um, the course is broken down by body systems. Now, I found that very helpful that it was broken down by body systems. So hey, hopefully it's very user-friendly and, and check this out. If you are in need of a certificate of participation, you can also register to receive a certificate um, at the end of the course. That was not a requirement for my program. However, I think it is an awesome feature they are offering. So take advantage of it if, um, if you need it. What you will quickly realize about medical terms is that the words or phrases build upon one another to create these seemingly complicated medical terms, which is why the first step is to understand the basics of what makes up a medical term. So let's go to the next slide for that. There are three basic parts to medical terms, a word root, which is usually the middle of the word and the central meaning, a prefix, which comes at the beginning and usually identifies some subdivision or part of the central meaning, a suffix, which comes at the end and modifies the central meaning as what or who is interpreting it and what is happening to it. Let's take myocarditis as an example. There are three parts to this word. Can you see it? All right, which leads us to step two, dissecting medical terms for their meaning. The way you dissect a medical term is by identifying the parts of a medical term, the prefix, the root, and the suffix. For myocarditis, the prefix is myo, the root is car, and the suffix is itis. 
All right, so you may be saying, but how does she know this? Because one of the ways to guarantee you will pass your medical terminology exam or be able to dissect a medical term effectively for its meaning, whether you've seen the term before or not, is by spending time learning frequently used prefix, roots, and suffix used to make uh, medical terms. So memorizing the part of a term as a prefix, a suffix, or a root is unnecessary. You just need to know what it means. All right. So let's go to the next slide here, which leads us to step three, reading medical terminologies effectively. Let's take myocarditis, for example. Again, we will go through some other or some additional examples in a moment but let's stick with this one. When reading a medical term, I have found it very effective to read right to left to obtain the word's meaning. If we take that approach for myocarditis, the meaning becomes inflammation of the heart muscle versus muscle heart inflammation. Let's go to the second example. Electromyography. Let's first find the parts, the prefix, the root, and the suffix. After you identify the parts and their meaning, it's easier to read the term and gather its meaning. In this case, the prefix is electro, the root is myo, and the suffix is graphy. Electro meaning electric or electricity, myo meaning muscle, and graphy meaning recording. As we read the term right to left, we obtain the meaning as recording of muscle electricity also known as EMG, which is the abbreviation for electromyography, all right? So let's go to the next example right here. Urethaitis, which really only have two parts, root, ureth, suffix itis, and ureth meaning urethra, itis meaning inflammation. So if we read right to left, we gather the meaning as inflammation of the urethra. All right. See how that works. All right, guys. And so for step four, acing your medical terminology exam. Yes, of course. That's why you're looking at this. First, you need to learn all of the prefix, the roots and the suffix. All right. Of commonly used medical terms. I highly recommend you, you utilize the free online uh, course through Des Moines University. An alternative would be to go through the 350 medical terms on Quizlet or a combination of the two. Second, take what you have learned and start dissecting medical terms for their meaning. Again, guys, I highly recommend use DMU's course. It's very effective and go through each body system, you know, randomly pick terms and dissect them. After you are comfortable with that process, I would encourage you to take the quiz at the end of um, each of the sections on DMU's website. I did mine in sections. So the, for the first two days, I just focused on learning prefix, roots, and suffix. And the third and fourth day, I worked through the circulatory, the nervous, and the digestive system, um, just dissecting words. And then the fifth and sixth day, I worked through the respiratory, the urinary, the male, and the female systems. And then on the seventh and eighth day, I worked through the musculoskeletal system as well as cancer terms. The ninth day was just a review day for me. And then on the 10th day, early that morning, I took the exam and aced it with 100%. And you can too, if you just follow this process, okay? And for our final step, which is step five, having the confidence and the knowledge to help you excel in PT school. Like I mentioned previously, guys, physical therapy students are expected to have a basic knowledge and understanding of medical terminology and abbreviations commonly used in physical therapy. But if you're, you know, entering your program with no previous healthcare uh, knowledge or understanding or background, the medical jargon or the medical the way the medical professionals communicate with one another can seem foreign. I was in your shoes. I get it. But by following the first four steps, I guarantee you, you will be able to enter your PTT, pro your PT program with the confidence and the knowledge necessary to excel. We don't want to just do well. We want to excel, right? Hey, now 
If you are already in a PT uh, program, awesome, and you just need a review, DMU's website is, is, is a great resource for you as well. Um, or if you're looking for, you know, you're asking yourself, how do I prepare for this program? So I cannot just do well, you know, we don't want to just be average, but I can excel. Then again, DMU's uh, course is, I highly recommend it. It was very effective for me. Really by the eighth day, I knew all of my, my medical terms because I didn't have to really memorize them. I just needed to know the parts, like, and know the meaning of different parts. And I was able to um, read or dissect all of the other medical terms for their meaning. So I highly recommend you do that. And if you found this video helpful, guys, go ahead and hit that like button, share it with your friends, and make sure to subscribe and click the little bell so you know when new videos just like this one is uploaded. So question of the day, what did you like most about this video? And do you have a recommendation of a medical terminology course that you have found helpful, go ahead and leave that in the description area, guys. And don't forget to let me know what DPT or PT program you are a part of. Don't forget all show notes, links, and tools share are in the description area. So check that out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace and love. Adios.